Hello guys, welcome to today's video by Trust Stanley and this is a TS Tech Talks video. On today's video guys, I'm going to show you how to make use of Filmora Go. Now Filmora Go is one of my top two best video editor on your Android phone. So let me go ahead and open the application. If you don't have it right now, this is the name right there. It's called Filmora Go. Go ahead and open your Android Play Store and search for Filmora Go and download it on your device. And then if you have it downloaded on your device now, go ahead and click on the application to open it. All right, guys. So if you're opening this application for the first time, it's going to display this information for you. All you need to do is to click on continue right there. But if you have a lot of time, go ahead and read every agreement of this um, usage of the application. But I will just go ahead and click on continue because I already read this previously. Now, if this is the first time you're making use of the application, it's going to prompt you this um, message this notification message that says allow filmora go to us um, to access photos and medias and files on your device now all you need to do is to click on allow to allow that particular option now once you click on allow automatically it displays this area for you what it actually means is these are all the location or the folders where you have your photos and your images and actually is not displaying them in folders so you notice on this top area it says album right now um in order for you guys to open a more um certain area you need to click on that drop down area but you know what i'm going to close up this area like this and then there is this um feedback area so i'm going to close it because i do not need to give a feedback right now so on default this is how it opens the only reason why it opens that way just now is because um this is the first time I'm making use of the application. So it assuming it know I want to edit my video. So on default, it opens your application this way and you have every information right there. If you want to learn more about the application, you can click on this question mic right there and you can notice um, it has quick tutorial on how to use the application. You can go through this and learn how to make use of the um, application. But I don't think I'm interested in making use of this tutorial right now because I'm just creating a tutorial for you guys. But if you find it challenging and you also want to learn more, go ahead and click on that particular icon right there. This particular icon is what I just clicked on right now. And you can make sure um, you can have and go through all of the tutorials they have put in on the application for you. All right, guys. So if you're ready for this application, let's dive in. Um, on the first area, you can snap a photo. You notice the camera icon is there. You can click on the camera icon to snap a photo or to record a video. And on the second area, you have a template section. Under the template section, it displays every template that are pre-existing on Filmora Go. Now note guys, if you are making use of this template, you need to become a premium user in order to make use of that particular template. So if you are not a premium user, you cannot make use of the template. So there is no need opening it. And then there is a third option, which is actually uh, for slideshow. If you are trying to create um, a video that has a lot of images and the images we have to um, slide or move after the other, like you have 20 images and then you add all of them together, they are going to move one after the other on a particular series. Um, on this photo area, this is actually where you select and edit your photo also on the Filmora Go. Alright guys, if you are ready to go with me and you want to create or edit your video on your Filmora Go, all you need to do is to click on new project. You notice is the one with the biggest orange icon, right? When you click on new project, it brings you back to that same area where it brought us before. Under this area, it displays every videos, every pictures that is existing on my phone, both um, from the most recent one and descending to the older ones. So um, if you want to edit a video, most of the times you need to know the exact location where the video is stored. If not, you are going to find it challenging scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. That is if you have a lot of file on your device. So to um, display only videos you can click on the video area it will display all of the video that are existing on your device and if you click on photo it does the same thing it displays all of the photos that are existing on your device but to be more accurate in what you want this is actually the way i prefer making use of it you notice this three dotted icon let me click on the video or you can just click on all any one you choose you notice that um first option right there that says album right now click on it um, it might not be saying album on your own case. 
click on that album and it will display everything that are on different folders so um the first thing i want to add on my video timeline is actually my intro now i know where my intro is saved as it's saved under one folder called one recorder so i might have to scroll to look for that particular folder and this is one recorder right there so i will have to click on it in order to open it and you notice this is my intro right there waiting for me so once i click on it it will display on the bottom area which says i selected one click right now let's go ahead and select even another clip now i'm going to click on this drop down folder again to display other folder for me and the second folder i want to open is actually called mobizine so mobizine is actually a screen recorder i made a video about it previously i use mobizine to record a video and it saves every video that saves from mobizine under mobizine folder so i'll have to click on mobizine folder and now select the video and you notice it displays on the bottom area so if you're ready to start creating your video and also i'm going to add up uh, one more right there it's going to be our outro but i can't add it right now because the outro is the same thing with my intro so i don't want to add it right now so that it won't dissolve things because i already have this one selected so all i need to do is to click on next and then it displays um the editing section for me so under this area this is our timeline and this is our menu where we have all of our tools to edit our video and you can notice there is a um, plus icon right there that plus icon actually means if you want to add more video to your timeline and if you notice this area it has um an audio this is the audio below it that means it's actually an audio that is coming with this video so um, there are a lot of features. If you notice on the bottom area, it has trim, music, test, sticker, filter. All of these things are already um, predefined for us. Now, I'm um, scrolling. In fact, I don't want to scroll. Let me go ahead and just add. Now, you remember I said I'm going to be adding my outro on this video. In order for me to add my outro, I have to click on this plus icon to add even more video to this current timeline. Now, I'll click on this plus icon. And now I'm going to go ahead and locate that exam folder, which is also called one um, recorder. One recorder. There you go. So um, this is the video. I just selected it. And do not forget, it's similar with my intro. So this is my intro and this is my outro. But funny enough, they are closer to each other. The reason is because I actually clicked on add when it, it was still here. I was supposed to click on add after I've scrolled to the end. But for some reason, I want to show you guys this and let's move on so i will have to move this to the end of the video which is the end of the video that was playing currently now all i need to do since it's selected i'm going to click and hold and then move it click and hold and then move it now you notice um when i was trying to move that particular video let me click on it again back up let me click here and then click on the video again and then click and hold. You notice it brings this um, icon right there, which actually allows us to see how this look like, right? Now, it actually make it pretty easy for us to move the image around. Like on my previous video I made, it was actually difficult to move it from that place to the end so that I would be able to move it to a different section. It was really difficult. But for some reason, this is a bit easy and it's really cool. So all of these features are pre, um, are, they are self explanated So I don't think there should be any reason for me going through all of this one. You can go ahead and make use of them. I'm just going to um, show you guys even more interesting thing. Now you notice on this video right there, the background is actually black. So I want to change the background of this video to a different color. Now, um, just make sure that you don't have anything selected on your timeline. Make sure you do not have anything selected. That's the reason why I tapped on outside so that I will make sure I don't have anything selected. Now you have to scroll over, scroll over and look for where it says canvas. Now go ahead and click on canvas. So I just selected canvas and you can notice it says format and then background, right? Now you can go ahead and click on format. What the format actually means is the format of the video you are creating for instance, if we are making a video for Instagram, you can notice the Instagram logo is displaying right there and also the Instagram ratio, which is one ratio one. And the next one is four ratio four, which is also for Instagram reels. And the other one is 16 ratio nine, which is um, the default one for the YouTube um, creators. And the other one is for TikTok. You notice the TikTok logo is there, which is nine ratio 16. And this TikTok 
particular kind of um, size of videos can also be used to create YouTube stories. I mean, YouTube stories, both YouTube stories and YouTube video shots. So you can use it to create YouTube shots and all of those. And there is even the last one. This is um, five by four. This can also be used to create Instagram Reels video as well as four by five. It's the same thing actually, just a bit different. The other one is bigger and the other one is longer. So depending on you. So you can go ahead and make use of this default. But if you are creating YouTube video, I advise you to choose this particular one. But you notice there is no much change. The reason is because on default, um, the, this particular video, this first video is actually a YouTube size. So since it's a YouTube size, the rest of the video that is going to be um, that is coming in are going to be the same size. So since you have that selected, go ahead and click back to navigate back. So I'm still going to go ahead and click on my canvas. And now remember, I want to change the background of this video. Now, all I need to do is to click on this background section. And you notice where it has color, right? Now, I have to click on the color and then add the image. You notice now the image of our video is now um, red. But if you're not cool with that, go ahead and change it to any color you want. Everything is here and you can choose any exact color you want. And if for some reason, guys, you want to add image or most of my video, I prefer adding image. All you need to do in order to add image is to select the album. When you choose the album, it's going to display every images that you have existing on your folder. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on photos actually so that I will see only photos. And now I'm going to scroll down a little bit further and this image is what I will choose. And now I'm going to click on next. You notice the image is now displaying. If you take pay good attention, you notice I make use of this image a lot on, on my other videos, but I used to blow them out. So since I've selected the image, you can click on blow. And now you notice it says blow, right? Now this blow option actually allows you to blow out the um, video playing and it will match the exact screen of the recording right now um, whichever one you think is cool just go ahead and make use of that but i think um i i use this blur most of the time and sometimes i make use of this particular option which is actually the image just um go ahead and watch some of my video you are going to notice that so if you guys are okay with this stuff this is mostly everything you can do and the rest you can explore them yourself they are all here if you still want to add a music to your video go ahead and scroll to the beginning of the video and add the music let me scroll i think this is the beginning yeah the, this this place and you notice where it has music right click on it you notice my music right click on my music and then just go ahead and accept and this is the music error and play and the recording starts right now i'm actually recording. but then again so i'm just going to then again, you notice the sound of the video and also um, the music is playing at the same time. So you might want to reduce one particular one and increase one particular one. If you want to reduce the sound of the video, click on the video, click on the sound and then reduce. Now you see, you can no longer hear my sound, right? Now, if for some reason you want to reduce the audio instead, just click on the audio right there and now click on um, the volume should be here and now reduce and then increase the sound and then right. the music is still there the music is still there but because i reduce the music and then increase my sound so it is all going to work out whichever way you want it so guys just this is very easy to use and if you're okay with that go ahead and purchase the premium you notice the logo is still displaying right there that is because i'm making use of the free version when you export it it will come with the logo and just click on export and it will start exporting on this particular um, video editor you do not need to select the size that you're exporting with because you already selected the frame size of the video so you have to allow it to export till it completes 100 percent you can notice the export time so once you complete 100 percent your video is ready to be published and you can go ahead and publish it on any platform all right guys thank you for watching this video if this video is helpful smash the like button and subscribe to this channel for more i'm going to see you on my next video guys stay safe and peace